good Thursday, everyone. Our weather map today shows lots of showers across about the eastern third of the U.S. That's due to a very sluggishly moving cold front. It's kind of crawling across the area. A chance of severe thunderstorms across Virginia up to around the Delmarva Peninsula, just southeast of D.C., some flash flooding risk across East Texas and a little bit of wintry precipitation across the northern tip of Maine. And then some snowflakes flying across the northern Great Lakes and then some more rain and snow for the Pacific Northwest. Our five-day forecast shows lots of showers from now through Saturday. Could have a rumble of thunder today or tonight. Tonight those rain chances elevate just a little bit higher as that front kind of re-energizes on our area. Winds could gust to 20 miles an hour at times tonight as well and that will be true right on through Friday night. So lots of showers, lots of clouds, pretty mild during the afternoon, but chilly at night. And then that kind of clears out by Saturday night as we drop down to 40, or at least the rain does. And then by Easter Sunday, it looks like the sun will return, hopefully by Easter sunrise services. A very mild Easter, highs in the mid-60s, looking quite pleasant. And also the same is true for Monday. On this day in 1971, a rare late season winter weather event produced an inch of snow at Nashville. The high was only 42 that day. In 1936, flipping to a different extreme, a significant tornado outbreak hit the deep south. 446 deaths, $18 million in damage. And remember, this is 1936 dollars. It was a tale of two cities. During the evening of the, the 5th, a tornado hit Tupelo, Mississippi, killing 216 people injuring 700 and causing $3 million in damage. The next morning, the pass of two tornadoes met at about 8.30 and cut a swath four blocks wide through Gainesville, Georgia, killing 203 people and injuring 934. Eight to 10 feet of debris filled the streets following the storm. And at least 70 people died in Cooper's Pants Factory, which is the greatest tornado toll of record for a single building. So what a bad day that was. You know, um, it doesn't mention it here, but that Tupelo tornado came very close to Elvis Presley's home. Um, so that would have been an interesting situation. Um, what, a, what a wild weather day that was in the Deep South. Well, we don't have anything like that to worry about for at least the next week, it looks like. So we're in good shape as far as severe weather goes, especially for the month of April. But I'll sure keep an eye on things. I'll let you know as soon as I see anything worth mentioning in the uh, in the long-range forecast. So you all just keep it right here at meteorologistmark.com.